<laughs> no pressure or anything. <laughs> Spill that out. I used to like the smell of rubbing alcohol, and now I'm like, really <laughs> Okay, so she has disinfected my port area and then we have to wait a little bit for it to dry completely. And in a second, you'll see her check it and it's still not completely dry. So then we got to wait a little bit longer. Okay, keep it busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Yes, yes, the same there yesterday. I didn't thank you there. Thank you. Um, sorry, you see some Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hey, okay, so I Okay, so she just checked it and it's almost dry, but not quite. So we're going to wait a little bit longer. Um, and then when it comes time to actually access my port where they put the needle in, um, they always tell you, like, they will feel for it, confirm that um, they know where to put the needle, and then they'll have you take a, uh, a deep breath in, and then um, they will access your port with the needle at that point. Okay, so we're in, and what they do is make sure that uh, we've got a good blood supply, that the needle's in the correct place, so they let a little bit of my blood through. Then they will do a, like a saline flush, just to make sure that um, my port is clear. Um, and now she's going to be taking a couple vials of blood for lab work. And this happens before each one of my chemos. Um, they run all kinds of tests on my blood work, um, but I know that they're checking like my white blood cell count, my red blood cell count, um, things like that, just to make sure that I am healthy enough to do chemo that day. Otherwise they will postpone it um, and see if my counts come up, but knock on wood, I've never had one have to be postponed. Um, and now uh, she's got me all taped up. Um, and so, um, they will leave this needle in my uh, port and then I'm, I'm like free to roam around and stuff. Um, it takes about an hour to get my lab work back and I don't actually have a doctor's appointment um, today. So uh, I got some oatmeal and I ate and hung out a little bit. Um, and then uh, once we got my lab work back and I was cleared, we were actually able to start chemo, um, but they leave me taped up like this. Um, and there's like a little tube that comes out. That's what she's using to uh, collect my blood and stuff. Um, and then when it comes time to actually do the chemo, they will uh, give me the chemo through my port using that little uh, dangly hose piece. Um, that way they don't have to like stick you again. It's really convenient. Um, and then when I'm done, they disconnect everything and, um, they put a band-aid or gauze over, uh, your access port and then they send you on your way. It's pretty easy. I, I do enjoy having a port. It makes things so much easier. It saves the wear and tear on your veins. Yeah.